Thousands of people will be converging on Providence this Sunday for the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. For one local woman, it's personal. Marianne Fonseca heard those four words, you have breast cancer. Now she's doing something about it. After participating in the Gloria Gemma Flames of Hope, she's hitting the pavement again this weekend. We take you to East Providence and this week's Street Stories. I'm carrying a torch for the millions that survive and for those who have passed on. Lighting the way for those who've traveled the dark roads of breast cancer. Thousands turning out for the Gloria Gemma Flames of Hope in downtown Providence. <laughs> Illuminating the night sky important to East Providence's Mary Ann Fonseca. What was that like on Saturday night carrying the torch in? It just was intimate, emotional, even though it was downpour and it rained. It really didn't matter. It didn't matter because um, the fight with breast cancer is so much harder. So we can withstand anything. Mary Ann is a breast cancer survivor. What was that like when you got the diagnosis nine years ago? I'll never forget that day. Um, I got a phone call. I was at work. My doctor's office called me and said, I'm sorry, Mary Ann, you have breast cancer. And I just remember feeling numb, like feeling like it wasn't real. Is that like telling your family? <sighs> I think that was the hardest part because I have two daughters. When you get a diagnosis like that, your whole life flashes in front of you. Mary Ann says with her husband and close family by her side, she began treatment. Um, I had radiation but I got pretty bad with radiation, 30 rounds of radiation. So that was brutal. In 2011, Mary Ann and her friends started a running group called We Run This Town. In September, she ran 69 miles in memory of her sister, Lynn Delgado, who would have turned 69 last month. Mary Ann says she runs to clear her mind from what haunted her in the past. I had this dream. It was like I already had passed and everybody was sad and crying and everything. And I was like, no, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still present. It shook me and I woke up and I was like, well, what if I'm not here? What if I'm not going to make it? But she has. Now counting her blessings, Marianne knows it could have gone another way. Breast cancer was probably one of the better things that happened to me. I truly found myself, my calling, my healing, my purpose. The Marianne who lives today is not the Marianne who was in the past. I am definitely reborn. Marianne is truly an inspiration. She's also walking in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk, which is this Sunday. It starts 9 a.m. at Kennedy Plaza in Providence. She has a fundraising page. We have that info on our website, WPRI.com. 12 News Morning reporter Erica Ritchie is the MC for this weekend's event.